Hi everybody, welcome to my video. I begin in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. This message is dated Sunday, August 4th, 2019, and it was given on the Feast of God the Father and His Divine Will, but this message was given in parts over several days. I begin. Once again, I see a great flame that I, Maureen, have come to know as the heart of God the Father. He says... I am the eternal now, creator of night and day, creator of every grace and every present moment. I have for centuries anticipated the present moment of my patriarchal blessing. I come with my hands filled with gifts, each gift individually wrapped for each soul. Each soul will receive what he needs to come deeper into my paternal heart. I am a generous God. I give what is best and correct, what is lacking in each heart which is filled with faith. I am the Father of all ages. These days in which you live are unprecedented in evil activity in the world. Satan hides undetected behind titles and positions of authority. The majority of my children do not look for him. They do not recognize his agenda, which is always souls. Many unwittingly cooperate with his plans. Still others have joined forces with him intentionally. Learn to recognize evil in forms of entertainment, dress codes, relationships, and in priorities. That which is not of me is against me. Anything or anyone that discourages prayer is Satan's instrument. I do not look at worldly importance, but at the simplistic love in the heart. Such a heart readily accepts the truth of my commandments and obeys them. The future of the world depends upon each soul's ability to recognize Satan and to uncover his plans. I am using some very prominent people in this country now to do just that. Believe me when I tell you, I can no longer stand by watching Satan's tactics. I must act. When Satan's plans are revealed, you will be amazed at the intricacies of his plans. I welcome with open arms all who come here. Most especially I place deep in my paternal heart those who cling to the tradition of faith. You are my remnant. It is you that I count on to carry the truth, the true faith forward into future generations. You do not see as I do the nefarious ways Satan insinuates his way into truth. Before you know it, truth has been transformed into an unrecognizable state that mankind has been fooled into accepting. I continue to speak here to saturate the heart of the world with the truth of these times, my love and my mercy. My prayer intention today is the same as it is every day and every present moment that all people and every nation unite under obedience to my commandments, only then will I be placed back in my rightful place in dominion over the whole world. Pray for this. My words to you today will fall on some hearts who are open to the truth. Some hearts will crack open and change to accept the truth. Other hearts will remain staunchly stubborn and sealed in error. I come to influence free will choices and, bring, and to bring more hearts along the path of righteousness. I created each of you so that you could earn your salvation. I await the day I can bring you into heaven with me. Maureen says, I see a large hand extended over the people in the United Hearts field. God the Father says, Today I can tell you that from the beginning of time I have ordained this mission to be present in the world during these latter times, this mission to my divine will. I know what each one needs and I know what each one wants, but perhaps should not have. 
continue to pray for my needs, which is the conversion of all hearts and thus the conversion of the world. Today, I am consecrating this mission to my divine will. I am extending my patriarchal blessing. End of message. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, and save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Please, let's say one Hail Mary for the salvation of all the souls in purgatory especially those in most need of God's mercy and those who have no one to pray for them. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. May we be blessed in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen.